According to Schmidt and Rottensburg, 2008, skilled performers are adept at analysing environmental information, making good decisions and producing effective movements. For basketball, like many other open, more complex skills, it is important that the performer is able to process information from their environment. Also, it's necessary for them to deal with the available information and eventually produce a response. Input is usually represented by a stimulus. For example, in this instance, the ball is the stimuli. The basic throwing and catching scenario represents the black box model, simply. For example, the input here is the ball, the person makes the process, and the output is the catch. However, for basketball in the game situation, this input of the ball exists amongst a multitude of other environmental stimuli, such as teammates, opponents, coaches and crowd, may too occupy the attention of a basketball player. For a cognitive performer, the three stages of information processing are not yet efficient and therefore the response is not yet executed. This is often seen more commonly amongst children of a young age, as demonstrated here. Experienced and less experienced people pick up different aspects of the same environmental situation. There are still the three information processing stages that occur regardless of experience or inexperience. The performer is presented with identifying the stimulus, selecting a response and programming the response before an output or action can be produced. Within stage one of stimulus identification, the performers analyse the content of incoming environmental information using a variety of sensory systems, such as vision, audition, touch, kinesthesis and smell. The performer may also detect patterns of the ball, movement, direction and speed. The environmental information that is deemed important then passes on to the next stage, response selection. For example, the defender in this clip then decides how to respond to the attacker dribbling the basketball. He must decide whether to channel the attacker or attempt to steal the ball. According to Schmidt and Reisberg, the response programming, stage 3, is the final stage after choosing a particular action. Various processes are thought to occur, such as retrieving the motor program, preparing the muscles for work, orienting the sensory system and readying the postural system. When the action has been readied for action, it is initiated, resulting in the start of the movement output. The output is deemed as the end result of the activity of all three information processing stages, such as the shots that we can see being performed here in basketball. Alright, I'm done. Not like wearing shorts.